Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on event monitoring in WebSphere Message Broker version 8 from Transformer Tech Inc. This video is going to focus on WebSphere Message Broker's event monitoring feature. WebSphere Message Broker allows you to configure a message flow to produce events as messages are being processed. These events are published as XML messages that can be subscribed to by other applications or processes. These applications can use the, this data to capture performance and statistical information of message processing within the WebSphere Message Broker environment. We will demonstrate this in a very simple example by mapping a couple of key fields from WebSphere Message Broker's event XML message, and we're going to map them to a simple CustomL message that we're going to create ourselves. In a production environment, these messages would typically be updated into either a database, an audit log file, or another monitoring solution that would be able to provide dashboard and reporting capabilities on this information. All right, setup monitoring. We're going to create an MQ topic to publish broker monitoring events to, and we're also going to create an MQ subscription to receive these publications on an MQ queue. We're going to configure and enable broker event monitoring on a message flow, and we're going to activate broker monitoring events. All right, let's just get started and jump right into the MQ Explorer. First thing we're going to do is create a queue for our event messages, and we'll call monitor events.default. Create that. Then we go ahead and create a topic. Let's call this broker events default. All right, for the topic string, this is going to be where the event message is going to be put to. So the default is dollar sign sys slash broker. And then we're going to put our own broker name, which is MB8 broker. We're going to monitoring the execution group for us as default. And here we're going to put the number sign. You can also put a specific flow name right here. All right, we we'll go ahead and create this. All right, now we're going to create a subscription to that topic we just made. We'll call it monitor default. Right, we're going to choose this topic that we just made. That's going to populate this topic string here. The queue manager destination name is going to go right here. And we're going to put the queue that we made just previous for our events to be put to. Once our subscription is created, we're going to go back to the broker environment to create monitoring on the flow we already have. We're going to use the flow from one of our previous videos, local environment flow. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the input node right here. Uh, we're going to, this is going to generate an event on the start of the transaction, but we can also configure this on the end of the transaction, and that would give us the ability to be able to capture and report on message flow performance. So we'll just select this input node here, go down to monitoring on the bottom. We're going to add monitoring event. We're going to leave all these default for this video, but in the event payload here, you could select different parts of your message to send with the event. All right, we're going to leave all of our defaults and hit OK. And once that's created, we're going to go ahead to our command console and enable monitoring on the broker. We're going to open up a command console. We're going to use the command mqsi change flow monitoring. We're going to put our broker name. All right, minus E to set the execution group. Right, we're going to set it as active. And then we're going to set the flow that we're working with. Wait for that to run, and we'll see that the command was successful. All right, once that command is successful, we're going to run, go ahead and run a message through this flow here to look at the event message. So we'll just run a, run a test message through here. All right, we're going to open up our FAs util to read the message. We're going to read the queue, our events.default queue. We'll go over here to look at the data that we're reading. And right here we have the event message that was created by the monitoring. What we're going to try to do is pull out information that we find useful. We're going to try to pull out the event name, the broker name, the flow name, the time and the date. And what we're going to do is we're going to use another flow uh, with, some Java, with a Java compute node to do this. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. All right, and this is the flow that's going to be working with our event message. We have the in queue here with our monitor events at default queue. We have a Java compute node that's going to map the monitor event to a new XML. And we also have a, the output queue that's going to output our final 
XML message. All right, so we're going to run a test through here. I'm just going to run through both flows with the event going through our flow here. And we're going to take a look at this monitor that events out queue in RFH util. We're going to read the queue and we'll go ahead and take a look at it right now. And as you can see, we pulled out the event name, the broker name, the execution group, uh, the message flow name, and the time and the date. We can use this data in a production environment to send to an audit log file or another monitoring solution or a database where we can store this information and use it to report on the number of flows being processed or the time that it takes for a flow to get processed. In conclusion, we're going to go over the steps again on how to set up event monitoring and WebStream Message Broker. The first thing we did is we set up monitoring on a flow and we're going to, after that we read and accessed the monitoring message XML. To set up monitoring, we created an MQ topic to publish broker monitoring events to, and we also created an MQ subscription to retrieve those publications on an MQ queue. Then we configured and enabled broker event monitoring on message flow, and we activated broker monitoring events in the command console. To work with the event message, we created an MQ input node, we created and implemented a Java compute node, and we also created an MQ output node, then we deployed it and we tested it. Thank you for watching this video on event monitoring and WebSphere Message Broker version 8 from Transforma Tech Inc.